Hi, first grade. How are you? Today we are going to be doing skills lesson 13. And today we will decode and write words with you and the magic key. We will identify a new tricky word, you, and we will listen to a story and write answers to questions about that story. So let's get started. Um, I would like you at this point to pause your video because you are going to need your skills page out of your workbook 13.1 and a pencil. We are going to be doing this together. So pause the video, grab your tools, and then come back and start again. Okay, I think we're ready. I am going to read some words for you to spell. We did the same thing yesterday. We've got some more words today. So I'll read a word for you to spell. We'll stretch it, and then we're going to write a new word with that magic E. Are we ready? The first word I want you to write is cut. Let's stretch it first. K -ut. Three sounds, three letters. Go ahead on number one right here and write cut on that first line. When you're done, you can check yours with mine. Does it look like C-U-T? Yep, now I want you to write the word cute. Let's stretch it. C-U-T, cute. Three sounds, but this one has four letters. Let's write cute. Check yours with mine. Yep, remember that U with a magic E, it works together to make one sound, makes that U sound like we learned yesterday, U. All right, let's look at number two. I want you to write the word tap, t-a-p, three sounds, three letters. Okay, check yours with mine, t-a-p. Now I want you to write the word tape. Let's stretch it. T -a -p, T-A-P-E-T-A-P-E. Three sounds, but four letters with that magic key. Yeah, that's one we learned about, how A and E work together to make the A sound. Nice job. Let's look at number three and write the word mop. m a -p. Mop. Three sounds, three letters. Check yours with mine. M -a -p. Now we're going to write the word mope. Let's stretch that one. M -o -p. Mope. Three sounds, but four letters with that magic E. Looks like this. Remember, O and magic key work together to make the O sound. All right, nice work. Let's look at number four, and I want you to write the word shin. Let's stretch that one. Sh, I, N. Now that one has three sounds, but it does have four letters, but it has three sounds. Listen to that beginning sound. Sh, I, N. Let's write it. Now if you look at your paper, it has one line for that first sound because S and H work together to make the sh sound. Over here, I want you to write the word shine, shine. Check yours with mine. S and H are working together again to make one sound. And then I and Magic E are working together to make one sound. All right, last one, number five. Tin. T -i -n. T -i -n. Tin, good job. Now let's write the word tine over here. T -i -n. Three sounds, but four letters with that magic E. Here's with mine again. T I N Tine. Way to go. We have learned about so many letters that work with that magic E to make the vowel say its name. We've learned about I with the magic E makes I say I. 
O with a magic E makes O say O. A with a magic E, it'll make that A sound. And then yesterday we learned about U with a magic E and it'll make the U sound. Wow, you guys are learning so much. All right, today we are going to learn a new tricky word. And remember that tricky words are words that don't play by the rules. Okay, this is the word we're learning today. Let's stretch this. Y, ah, uh, uh. Y, ah. Uh. That's silly, that is not a word. It is actually you. The Y is okay. We hear that Y sound at the beginning, but O and U are the tricky parts, okay? In the word U, they sound like ooh, don't they? Y, ooh, you. So that's the tricky part of this word. I want you to put your arm up and we're going to spell this word. Ready? We're gonna tap it out. Y-O-U, U. Again, Y-O-U, U. One more time. Y-O-U, you, good job. You see this word a lot when we're reading and we write it a lot when we're writing. So this is a word that's so important to know. Okay, all right, I am going to read another story to you today and it's about a job that Gran had a long time ago um, and she worked in a sweet shop. What do you think a sweet shop would have? Yeah, probably all kinds of candy, maybe some pop, lots of sweet things to eat, I bet, would be in a sweet shop. As I read, I want you to listen for these tricky words in the story. The first one, when. Yeah, how about this one? One, good job. And our last one is our new one. You, way to go. We're going to listen for those three tricky words and I'll try and point them out to you when we come to them in the story. As I read, I want you to listen to what kind of jobs that Grand did when she worked in that sweet shop. So first I'm going to turn to the table of contents. That's going to help me find what page it's on. So I know yesterday we read Fuzz and Mel. Oh, there's the sweet shop. If I go across, it's on page 56. So I'm going to turn to page 56 in my book. Oh, there's Fuzz and Mel again. Here we go. All right. The Sweet Shop. Gran, Josh asks, did you have a job when you were a kid? I see that word when right there. I did, says Gran. My dad had a sweet shop and I had a job in the shop. Did you get to make sweets? Yes, says Gran. I got to make milkshakes, cakes, and gumdrops. Mmm, that sounds like some yummy sweet things in that shop. Was it fun, Josh asks. Some of it was fun, says Gran, but it was not all fun and games. I had to sweep and pick up and I had to wipe off the cake case. Can you still make cakes? asked Jen. You bet I can, says Gran. Do you want to make one? Oh, there's the word you, and there's the tricky word one too. What a great job. I bet that was so much fun when Gran worked in that sweet shop. That's her when she was little, and she looks like she's making a milkshake there. Okay, your job today is in your skills workbook, you are going to find page 13-2, and there are questions on the front and the back about Gran working in the sweet shop. So I want you to answer those questions, try to answer with a sentence like we practice in school. And then I want you to reread the sweet shop in your readers too and look for words that you know. There's lots of words that we know in our readers now, okay? All right, well, we will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.